Rita Minkalti from North Horizon Immigration, and today I have the pleasure of having a conversation with one of our previous clients, and we we're going to be talking about his experience as a Canadian immigrant. So, hi Kamal. Hi. Do you want to introduce yourself quickly? My name is Kamal, Kamal Bhardwaj. I'm originally from India, and I've been in Canada for a little over three years. Nice. Kamal, I want to go back to when you first started this whole experience of immigration. Um, because not only did you live here before, you also lived in another country before coming yeah. to Canada. So yeah. why don't you tell us a little bit more from the initial stages yeah. of your interest in Canada. Yeah. Well, I first arrived in Canada in 2006, August. Mm -hmm. And a long time ago, I came as a student. Yeah. My first impression of the West, first impression of North America was Toronto. Mm -hmm. I was a student, I came to study visual effects in Seneca College and uh, after finishing my school, one year postgraduate certificate course, yeah. I looked for work in Toronto and then I got a job in Vancouver. Yeah. I was in Vancouver from 2007 November to April 2008, that's 11 years ago. Yeah. And then Vancouver had a big strike of the writers. Oh. There were some troubles in the industry. Mm -hmm. Many studios were out of work. At that moment, I applied for work. I got lucky, I got a job in Belgium. Mm -hmm. That's how I... That's how you went to Europe? Europe. Okay. I was there for eight years. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to come to Canada as long as I remember. <laughs> 10, 11, mm -hmm. 12, I mean, it took me three, four years to... To return. To return. Yeah. And what was it about Canada that was attracting you, that you didn't find in Belgium? Well, I lived in Belgium. I lived also three years in Germany. Mm -hmm. I speak fluent German. Okay. So I was very much at home in Germany. Yeah. But uh, after long, if I can be very honest, I think Europe is best for Europeans. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. It's great life, yeah. but I never felt at home there. Okay. You always be constantly reminded that you're not born there. Or you're not you're born not there. Born. You're an outsider, and mm -hmm. people always look at you with with the doubt. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? So it's still a very old world, mm -hmm. old mindset, colonial mindset, if I can say. Yeah. Yeah. And I already had an experience of Canada. So for me, this was a promised land. Good. I wanted to be here <laughs> at any cost. So how did you end up making it here? What was uh, the process for you to immigrate to Canada the, when you came back yeah. the second time? Yes. I was offered a job offer mm -hmm. from a big studio, a nice good company here. And they offered me a job first in Montreal. I refused Montreal. Otherwise, I would have been here one year before. Mm -hmm. Then they came up with another offer. Okay, Vancouver. And I have been I've been to Vancouver before. I lived in Vancouver. So I jumped on the offer. Yeah. Whatever money they offered. Yeah. And I said, okay, let's, this is my one time ticket. I've already, mm -hmm. I've been uh, immigrant five or six times. Right. I began, so many countries. I began my life more than five times from scratch. So I'm a professional. Yeah. <laughs> At reinventing your reinventing life. Reinventing immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> so I was very fearless. I, was, I took the chances. I think you came here, you were working here, yeah. but we also were you. Yeah. So my wife was the yeah. primary applicant. Yeah. Even though I had a job here mm -hmm. and even I had education here, but still my points were not that high. Yeah. But my wife was the primary. So we actually, we were, our case was complicated. That's why you. Came in the picture That's right. Because, and I was <laughs> you very, had some yeah. experience, yeah. but it was too far in the past, so we couldn't use it yeah. right now. Yeah. But then, thankfully, your wife, yeah. she had a PhD, PhD. and that yeah. gives a lot of points in the express entry yes. uh, permanent residency system. So I was mm -hmm. the secondary applicant. I had some good points. Yeah. We both decided to take the IELTS exam. Mm -hmm. We scored reasonably well. Very she scored good. better than me. <laughs> I was still good, but. Uh, she was the primary applicant mm -hmm. and we applied from outside Canada. Correct. Because Correct. she was outside of yeah. Canada while you were inside uh, yeah. of Canada. So, yeah. And I came here first alone. Mm -hmm. 
So I still remember I arrived on February 6th, yeah. 2016. And how did we get in touch? Uh, through if another friend mm -hmm. who spoke very highly of you. And yes. they were very happy. In the, stu in the same studio or mm, in another studio? No. It's also connected to Europe. I worked with Camille in Belgium. Camille, who is in the same industry as yes. you. He's also in visual yes. effects. I but I met him in Brussels in 2008. Yeah. And he also moved around to Australia mm -hmm. and then he came to Canada. Because I helped Camille yes. one and a half year before yes. you, approximately. And yes. he highly recommended and I'm very happy I took his advice. Yeah, we're really happy to have helped you. I remember um, then you were telling me you have a, a child also, yeah. your son is here. How does it feel now that the family lives in Canada? I have to pinch myself sometimes. <laughs> I'm very grateful actually. It's, yeah. it's surreal. If one word, mm -hmm. you can say it's surreal. I can't believe it must be some stars from above. I'm yeah. super happy. I'm blessed. Is your son growing up here feeling like he's, it's home yes, for him? Yes, he's loving it. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, sometimes he talks about Belgium, wants yeah. to go, like, like today when the grandparents are going back. Yeah. So we feel the pinch that he wants to go back with them. To be close to them. Yeah, mm -hmm. he doesn't understand that, but I mean, this is life. Yeah, it happens a lot when people move. Yes. Okay. Um, if you had an advice, if you had an advice to give to people who are outside of Canada and they're thinking, do they want to come here or not, what would be your advice for them? I would say take your chances. I mean, it's your life. You have all the right to make it better. So take your chances. It's not a red carpet being rolled out to anybody. Nobody is special. You come here, start as an immigrant, start from the bottom, start from zero and scratch. Work your way up. This is the land of opportunity. And if you work hard, you'll be rewarded. And just take your chances. Do you think it's important for people to work with professionals also? Of course, yes. Yes. Not, not, I'm not saying because my case was a bit mm -hmm. twisted and complicated and we were kind of stuck in not knowing if you're making a mistake mm -hmm. because you can do it yourself but it's, it's like lottery it may work it may not work but when you work with a professional like I remember my time I presented my case to you and you said that when I said we're done you'll get it and that's when I felt I'm in safe hands that yeah. your confidence mm -hmm. like helped me feel at ease that okay yes mm -hmm. I'm that's the positivity I felt, okay, yes, somebody is saying it will be done, it means it will be done, yeah. so. We're in our, yeah. on the right track. In the right track, yeah. yeah. Because one small mistake, you can, it will cost you, it just not cost you more, it will be uh, the whole anxiety and the pressure and the stress of doing it all together, mm -hmm. or going through the entire process again, and you lose more money in that case, so. Yeah. I mean, that's why we, we go to professionals, so. Mm -hmm get it done right first time. Thank you. Well, we're very happy that we were able to help Super you happy. and your family and uh, we always remember you. Yeah. As, uh, I think you played a big role and I'm very, I'm always grateful. That's why I, I keep recommending your name. I <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's it for today and if anybody wants to know more about immigration processes, you can look at all our other videos on our YouTube channel and get more information on what may or may not work for you and your family. Thank you. Thank you.